There's a few things I wanted to mention that I thought were important if you're experiencing really frigidly cold weather. And some of you may have already known this, but there are some things that I didn't know. So it's cold enough for all the water to freeze. And you can see that all the water's frozen in everywhere and everything, even my water filter. And I'm worried that, you know, it's going to be destroying stuff that I didn't know was going to be destroyed. So everything is getting frozen. And if you don't know what I'm doing here in this house, I'm renovating it. So there's a lot of, so the toilet is frozen. So I'm worried that these components there are going to be busted. Well, that's uh, and then the pipes probably are bad, but I'm not going to know until it thaws out and I test it again. The other thing that I'm glad I did was I kept the water heater running just to keep the water heater warm. I used PEX pipe, which is what I wanted to use in this house anyways. So I feel an amount of some comfort and uh, confidence knowing that that PEX pipe has some tolerance in it. And so I, it's, this house is very big, so I know that there's not a lot of PEX to replace if I need to. So those are the, and don't forget the, the P traps and the drains. So overall, make sure you're prepared for this type of thing. Think ahead because we don't, never know what we're going to face. And I never knew I was going to face this, but, uh, it kind of took me off guard, but I, hopefully I'll find some, uh, things that you may learn from. This isn't going to cost me a lot of money because I, it's a small house. Just make sure your main water is shut off and then drain your pipes, your, uh, your plumbing and everything. Just drain those from water so there's no water left in it. And then uh, make sure your pee traps in your sinks and in your toilet are uh, clear from water. Flush your toilets and then just uh, make sure that there's no uh, freezing effects. Actually, there's antifreeze that's for uh, RVs and campers they actually use those to winterize them and cause them to, to go through the system that antifreeze to go through the system uh, let it go through the faucets and drain through your p-trap and so it'll help everything so that that's actually a really good idea to do that that should be it the rest of my house I'm uh, thinking about as I'm going through this experience is I'm taking notes uh, with insulation where the drafts are and everything so as I renovate it I'm gonna understand and know where the weaknesses are which is pretty much the whole house so but luckily it's a small house and so I don't have to do a whole lot to make it work if you're new to my channel you could see the other videos that I made about the cold I just made them like the last few days it's been uh, below zero record temperatures in the Midwest You've probably seen that on the news, so I wanted to share all these experiences with you so that you can have your own ideas of uh, what you need in these types of circumstances. So I'm also working on other experiments to generate power. I'm really, really determined to find something that is beyond just propane and battery powered stuff. I know we think a lot about solar and we think a lot about wind, you know, generation, stuff like that for getting power. Uh, those are limited as we know, but I want to get further into having energy, free energy, basically. There's a lot of people that say it doesn't exist. We know it exists and we know, and we use some of it already. So you can check out some of my other videos. It's just a matter of figuring it out for yourself because no big company or government's going to tell you about it. So I'm just 
going to do some experiments and I've had some positive successful experiments with these things here. These are just videos that some people have done already. I'm just replicating them to see if they're true. And then, uh, but I want to go further into other experiments. So far it's looking really good. We can look forward to that.